Hey, it's Mark, RPM Tesla, Model Y owners, you're gonna love this. This is a seven piece kit, and this protects all of the carpeting around all of your seats in the car. So right now you have seat tracks where the seats glide back and forth. You can see these four cutouts. So your seats move through these tracks. Everything below it and around it is all carpeted. So this is gonna keep dirt off, snow, any kind of oil, dirt, Really going to keep the carpeting from getting clean, uh, dirty so you won't have to vacuum it. So we're going to give you this kit and we're going to explain everything to you and show you all the pieces. So basically what we have is seven pieces and they're all snapped together. So if we unsnap this one you can see you're going to get two like this. This will be for the passenger side. You're going to get two on the driver's side and you're also going to have these three which come apart really easily for the center bolsters of the seat tracks which again, fit in the back of the car. So this is the back seat where our storage trays sit when it goes like this. So anyway, let's get into it real quick. We'll show you how it installs, how simple it is, how affordable it is. Um, and again, these are gonna really protect the carpet. You'll notice the texture of our mold is all texturized, which matches all the existing plastic trim in the vehicle. So it looks very original or factory or OEM. Uh, thanks again. Now let's get started with this installation right now. This is what it'll look like once it's all assembled and snapped together under your seats, providing 100% coverage of all of the carpeted surfaces on your seat rails, all the way down to your floor mats. Okay, when you take everything out of the bag, you should have an L1 and L2, an R1 and R2, and three pieces for the middle, one, two, three. If you mix them up, don't worry. They are embossed in the mold. So you'll, that means that on each part, you can see the part number. So this one here says M1 on the back side and the matching bag. So it's really simple to keep them straight. And now what we want to show you is how you're going to join them. We recommend you understand the assembly and you do it first out of the car. It's just two simple clips on each piece, but they're going to join together under the back seat. So in the meantime, let's just take a look to show you how they're going to hook on each side once you squeeze them together. So we're going to put this on the front, under the seat, and then we're going to connect these pieces and it's going to really grab around the seat rails and you see how it just snaps in like that so that's the final position how it's going to sit underneath the outside driver's edge so that is our oh, that is l2 now we'll do the right seat which is the passenger seat r1 and r2 same thing we're just going to connect them and uh, also when you put this under the back seat you're going to have to bend it a little bit to get it around any wire harnesses that are hanging down. We're going to show you that in a minute. And this just, again, same thing. You're just putting an inside and an outside snap together. And you slide it right over the seat rails. Okay, so now we've put four of the seven pieces together. And that one goes aside. Now we'll do the middle. Now you have M1, M2, and M3. M3 is the back piece. You'll notice you're right here in the back of the car, these two giant uprights here, it's gonna cover that. So we're gonna take the side pieces and connect them. That's M1 connecting on the side, and M2 is here, and M3 is there. So it's very, very easy. Again, we're not gonna connect them like this until we put them underneath the seats around the rails. Okay, so why don't we do the first one first? So this is obviously L1. And we'll go over to the vehicle and we're gonna show you everything. So in a Model Y, obviously raise your seat bowl, your seats all the way up, take out your floor mats front and back and then we're going to start with the big piece that goes right under the seat here and this is the one I mentioned that we are going to have to bend it outward so that piece on the inside you're going to bend it downward and before we do that we're going to show you why 
So under the seat here, you've got wires, harnesses. You might have our back seat lighting kit, but you see how we go all the way down and around. So now it went all the way around the seat. And it's grabbing on perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna grab the other one. And we did take off our Model Y cover. We'll snap on when we're done. This is great to keep objects out of the vent. So now I'll try to be in two places at once here. So we're sliding this one forward. And you can see it joining up here. And have someone tap the front. And then it will connect behind just like we did on the table. So you have to get one hand out. One hand pushing it in. Okay, now we've got light on. You can see how nice it fits. Now we're going in with the super wide angle. And you can see the same thing under the back seat. Just get it all the way up, flush with it, push it down, and you'll see how it covers all the carpet. All right, it looks great. So now we're gonna do these two, which is M123. So we'll put on the back first, push it forward, and then we'll hook on the legs. So the back are the two uh, large pieces. And we'll slide those on. And then push forward all the way up. So they really provide a lot of protection. You're not going to have to wash these carpets, drop some food down in there. And again, these are the two locking clips that are gonna grab. So you have to have someone push from the back and someone slide on here to lock them in place. So I'll get out of the way and I'll go to the back here. Okay, now we're gonna show you from the back how you're gonna get these two big horseshoes on. You're gonna slide them right underneath the metal slides and just kind of tap them and slide them forward. And look at that protection. It's really gonna cover every inch of the carpet. Okay, so now that's in place. So now we're gonna take the front and the left sides and look at our nice vent cover. Holds on great. Now we're gonna go up front and I'll keep filming from back here and we'll get those pieces locked together. So our vent covers are awesome. Just snap them right on, just like this. Nothing will roll in there and get stuck. Okay, so now, the person in the front has got to have someone pushing this back. We're going to bring in that piece from the front and connect it. You'll see right here, those two clips are going to go together. There we go. So I'm applying some pressure from the back. And then someone gets their fingers in the middle. And you just simply press them in and they'll lock in place. Tap here, a little pressure from both sides, and there we go. All right, so we've got the driver's seat on in the front and the back. We'll bring the carpets back in when we're done, and now we're going to move over to the passenger side, and it's going to be the same exact thing, but we like to show real time how long all this stuff takes. So we're going to start with the Moving the seat back. And if you have any of our sill plate covers on or anything, or floor mats, just slide it out of the way. And again, just slide that piece on. Go to the center console and see how it's coming right towards the back. And then a little pressure here to hold it in place. And lock those tabs up. Pretty simple, great coverage, and um, they really protect these uprights, and they're not going to get kicked up or dirty or destroyed. It's got that hard ABS plastic there, and we'll just get it all connected. So sometimes you got to give it a little nudge, so it goes all the way under. And we've got to watch the rails here to make sure this is not getting caught up. It looks good; it'll enter right in there. And then it's just a matter of twisting a little bit, get those tabs set. Right. 
Okay. All right, so we're going to slide it on just like this and bend the piece back to go around any wires in the back seat. We'll get it all the way in position, and tap it all the way down, and then lock in the back. And then we'll come back and we'll show you how to put the sill plate cover back on. All right, going under the front seat and see what's going on. So we've got that piece meeting up with this one, and it usually helps to give it a little tap here. So they reach yep. like that. And now we've got all of the uprights covered. We'll put our floor mats back in. And then we want to show you this compatibility thing. So this is the regular sill plate, and that's our TPR cover. So you want to reinstall this back in by simply pressing it down in place. And then putting the rubber seal back in. And everything fits perfect. It'll be easier to keep your carpet clean. You're not gonna get dirt in the sides. You still got where this catches anything that falls off the seat. And now you're totally lined all the way back. And then we just gotta close that gap up. So I'll tap on this side again. You we'll see how butt up the little clips work. And then the door sills are protected, the paint's protected, and uh, your bolsters are protected. The seats glide perfect. They don't have any rubbing on it. And uh, that'll do it for this kit. Um, we'll get some photos here. The coverage is great. All of the uprights have the thick matching Tesla OEM etching or texture. And you can see how everything is protected. All the carpet is covered everywhere, all the way down under the seats completely with room for trays, accessory trays, storage and uh, they are installed.